I nearly guarantee you guys are tunnel visioned in EAFC 24. I say this because it's one of the most common issues I see with my coaching clients in EAFC 24. Let me cook with this complete guide to avoiding tunnel vision. This video will be broken up into three complete segments. The first segment will be on attacking, the second segment will be on defending, and the third but final segment will be on how to actually actively improve your vision in game so that you are less tunnel visioned when it comes to EAFC 24. Now, if you haven't yet subscribed, what are you doing? I'm hitting you with tutorials day in, day out throughout the year of EAFC, so be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. Can we do it? Let's get into it. First up, tunnel vision in the attack. The biggest issue people have when it comes to building up and tunnel vision in their attack is not seeing passing options and essentially being too narrow-minded when they're on the ball. You see, when people are dribbling, what they're doing is they're focusing solely on the ball carrier, or they're focusing on the opponent's defenders. This is an issue because if you focus on the ball, you'll be too narrow-minded on the ball and you won't see what's going on around you. You'll be also susceptible to losing the ball because you may need to pass away to actually get away from press at times, but if you're focusing only on your attacker on the ball, you won't see the other passing options. And this also goes in line with dribbling. As I have mentioned to you, it's important you look at the space when dribbling and not at the defender or not solely at your attacker on the ball. You must look at the space because then you can actively take your attacker towards that space with your hand-eye coordination. And I have used the analogy of steering and how steers usually focus on the pathway down the hill and not on the tree. Because if they focus on the tree, they'll hit the tree. They focus more on the path. And this is similar when dribbling. So when it comes to attacking, you need to basically look around. You can't focus solely on the defender and you can't focus solely on the attacker on the ball. You need to look at all of your attackers. Second up, we have tunnel vision in the defense. People think when I refer to tunnel vision, it only really refers to the attack. But when it comes to the defense, the biggest issue I see is people are tunnel visioned when it comes to spotting runners. And this is an issue because if you can't spot runners in the defense, then you won't be able to track that runner quick enough to then shut off the through ball once your opponent threads the through ball through to your attacker making the run. And this is a big issue. The other issue I see with tunnel vision in the defense is there might be opportunities for you to in fact cut off a pass to an attacker. By anticipating the pass, switching to the center back early enough to actually cut it off. And this is what I broke down in my complete right stick switching tutorial. And how to actually anticipate your opponent and be a step ahead. You need to be looking around and looking for where your opponent may actually take his attack next. And a lot of the time it may be into that striker's feet. And you might actually have an opportunity to cut that off if you right stitch switch to the center back and drag you in front of the attacker. This is why it's so important that you're not tunnel vision in the defense. And the biggest issue is people only focus on the ball carrier when they're defending. And this leads to being reactive, not proactive. You must be proactive in the defense and cutting off passing options, positioning your defenders and keep, keep keeping a tight structure proactively and defending certain situations before your opponent even attacks in that situation or thinks to attack in the situation that you're defending. Now, the third segment in how to actively improve tunnel vision. You see, if I'm going to summarize this for you, the way I did it back in the day when I was attempting to become a pro player 
was I was actively looking around the pitch all the time. I was telling myself, okay, we need to improve our vision in the game. So let's actually start looking around, both in the attack and in the defense. And this slowly but surely allowed me to visualize the pitch a lot better and see where my attackers as well as my opponent's attackers were at all times. This allows us to improve our tunnel vision. Another thing you can do is look at your map. The map is a good indication as to where your attackers as well as your opponent's attackers are at all times. It gives you a good indication where they are so that you know where the player's positionings are at all times. And last but not least, I can't stress to you enough about the importance of actually learning the formation that you're using. Knowing where your attackers are going to be positioned as well as where they're going to be positioned when you're defending. This will allow you to have a good understanding of where they are so that you can switch to any player that you like or pass to any player that you like because you actually know where they are on the pitch. This is super important and will help you with your vision in game. So there you have it. That's the top three mistakes that I notice when people are attacking. Now, if you want to get personal one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, you can. The link is down below. In my opinion, it's better than spending money on FIFA points because at the end of the day, a better team is not going to make you a better player. It's how you use that team. It's your skill and ability as well as mentality that will improve your game and get you better results, which will get you better awards to get a better team. So check that out. The link is down below. But I'm out. Sayonara. Au revoir. Adios. Salam. Ciao. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplement, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code DILLANETSATP at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.